Okay, so this is a part two to the last video that I put up. And in every video that I put up, I try very hard not to swear. I swore before jail, but whilst in jail, my mouth got a million times worse. And I recall when I come out, the first thing that my mum and dad said to me, separate occasions, like, stop swearing, stop swearing. Um, but this video, I am going to fucking swear because it just brought back a feeling and I, I just had to share this one is, you know what, if if I went back to jail, which touch wood, I wouldn't, there's no way that I would do my journey the way I did it before. I spent nearly four years of yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir, no, sir. Do you know how fucking antagonising officers are? How much they prod and poke you and literally like to have everything to to be a good prisoner um, and get your rules and be able to go home and see your family and stuff like that. You have to lick asshole. Their their it, their their job. It, it's like it goes to their head. Now, any time I bad mouth officers, guys, just remind, just like try and like remember that it is eighty percent I'm talking about. Eighty percent uh, assholes and twenty percent are amazing, and we're really grateful for that twenty percent because if there wasn't them there. You know, I think we'd all just absolutely lose the plot. But literally, like <laughs> some of you, some of you girls now, um, you will be laughing. You'll be laughing your ass off at this because you know, you know it's fucking true what I'm saying. You know they literally will. They would just even look at you just to antagonise you, just to. It's like you're a little game or a little toy to them, or they know you've got so much to lose. And I'm telling you now, if any officers ever watching this. If I did, again, I am touching wood because I have no intention of going back. I think I'd be one of your worst prisoners. And that's how much damage you've done to me as a well-behaved prisoner. You'll, you'll watch a prisoner, the most, the most uh, misbehaved prisoner. They could bite an officer in the face. They could tell them to go fuck themselves. They can tell them to go do sick shit or they're going to do sick shit to their family. And yet they will roll out the red carpet from. They will roll out the red carpet and give them anything they want. And do you know what? Fair play to them. Fair play for them having that power because it's normally the officers that have power over us. But then when you're trying to be that behaved prisoner, when you're trying to be respectful and staying true to yourself and how you was possibly brought up, you know, mannerism and, and stuff like that, respected other people, you know, you just... Yeah, oh God, I need to think of examples, but I know for a fact that when I post this up on Facebook, there will be comments um, from some of the some of you girls. I know that for a fact because literally it was just like a game. So I just had to say this one because it just come into my head that I'm telling you, if I went back to jail, I wouldn't be kissing nobody's ass. I wouldn't be t saying yes sir, no sir at all. Literally, like they would probably be shocked of of like the way I would behave this time around, but they'd have no one to blame but themselves. Literally, like just antagonizing you, just the most stupidest thing. I tell you what is the most ridiculous thing an officer ever did to me once in the aspect of this is how, how either jealous they are of you or how twisted or how they want to get you because you're just, you're a good respected prisoner. For example, it, my uh, friend inside, she'd been kicked off a course um, for having an argument for speaking her voice. And it was her birthday and she was really depressed. She wouldn't come out of her room. So I pulled her out of her room. I got a black pen and I wrote, what did I write? So I drew a, a beard, a moustache, a pair of glasses. I done a heart love on the forehead and wrote happy birthday across each side of her cheeks. Now we have a thing called an IEP system. So you've got a negative IEP and you've got a positive IEP. So if you was a good little girl, you got a positive IEP. And if you was a naughty little girl, you got a negative one, which is a piece of paper. But the problem is, is where I lived, if you got two of these, you'd get kicked off. Um, <laughs> and if you got 10 of them, you didn't really get, you didn't really get fuck all. Um, so basically anyway, so imagine I've done this for the girl. The girl's not even left the house block or anything like that. She's looked through the office door and was laughing because I've cheered her up. And the officers come up to me, did you, did you draw on her face? Did you draw on her face? I said, yeah, well, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, well, what's the problem? They're like, they had a little hissy fit. The next thing you know, I've got a negative IEP. 
a negative IEP for writing happy birthday on my friend's face and drawing a beard and a, um, a tash. Like, this is how pathetic the officers are. Now, a negative IEP is for wearing sliders and not your trainers to the dining hall or in, on the landing or for swearing at an officer or for not being in your room when you're supposed to be or you know actual things that you can understand are a little bit more justifiable um but yeah i went to the governor anyway and um she was a wicked governor and even straight away when she read it she was like i can understand if you wrote c-u-n-t across her forehead she said, but she, she was just like, no, I'll put in a form thingy and I've got it taken off the system. But, you know, if I hadn't have had a decent um, relationship to go to the governor and, and say that, if I was a quiet person and just shied away in my room, one more of them for the most, just for having, just say you forgot to put your, take your flip flops off, you went to get hot water, I'd have been kicked off. Like, that's how much they antagonise you. That's how pathetic they are. But yet, if I'd have gone in there and said, oh, you're an F in this, you're F in that, you know, I probably would have gone, oh, would you like one of my sweets, Fran? You know, that's that's how tapped some of them are. Um, I feel like I've just had a little rant, but I felt like I needed to get off my chest because there's, you know, I sit, you know, most of the time I'm driving along and I, and I think about all these videos I could do and, you know, and I have so many great ideas. And then by the time I get home, I'm distracted by something, I don't get a chance to write it down, or the girls will come up with a wicked idea in the comments and stuff, and then it's just like, ah, oh, you know, I wanna save the big ones, the really, really juicy ones for a bit later on. You know, if I'm honest, when there's a bit more viewing on, on, on my channel, um, you know, we've got some wicked stories coming up. But yeah, so every time I think of something like this, <laughs> I'm literally just gonna post it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, F you officers in the politest way possible. <laughs>